Doctor Who, a children's television programme or something a bit more special? My name's David Howe and I'd like to share with you some of my Doctor Who collection and a room that we built in which to keep it. <laughs> Doctor Who's TARDIS first appeared on British television screens in 1963. My memories of the show were from 1966 when Patrick Troughton was the Doctor. I was six years old and I was scared out of my mind by Daleks, Cybermen and Ice Warriors. John Pertwee came after Patrick Troughton and after John was Tom Baker, probably the most popular Doctor of all. But for me, it was always the monsters that actually got me into it. And from there, the collections just grew and grew. William Hartnell once described the Doctor as a wizard of space and time, but I don't think he meant a pinball wizard. Yes, David, but I'm the most popular thing all time. It's certainly true that there were a lot of Dalek items released in the 60s. But there were also items released in the 70s, like this one. And Indeed, throughout the 70s, the 80s, and right up to date at the 90s. In fact, these days, you can even buy a TARDIS full of sweets. Yes, but I'm the most scariest one. Not at all. There's also been the Marshmen, the Vanir, and of course, the Sontarans, and the ones that I was most frightened of, the Cybermen. What's he got that I haven't? It always tried to do something new. We've got a chance. A magic talisman? No, it's a clockwork egg timer. To our friends, whatever they are, the visible spectrum is irrelevant. They're blind. Crudely speaking, they home in on vibrations. So you always knew the Doctor was going to win out in the end. Now drop your weapons, or I'll kill him with this deadly jelly baby. Kill him, then. What? Kill him then. I don't take orders from anyone. The concept is limitless, and the series could run and run. I know, I know, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all.